morning. Let's get started. So bring your hands over to one side and sink down into your legs. And then sweep your hands in and step in. And step forward, told you it was going to be different. Now circle those arms slowly back and pause. Then step in and step out. Can you see the shape that we've made with our feet? And circle and pause. So we'll do that again. Step in, step forward. Give me a nice circle. And then step in and step wide and circle. Give me two more like that. Step in, <gasps> gonna lift your foot. Step forward, roll and pause. Bring it in, step out and circle. One more time. High knee if you can, good. Step onto that foot, roll the arms and then drag up a high knee and step out. Pause, draw your feet underneath your hips and give me some Pilates swings. High up onto your toes. Let go and breathe in. Good, nice morning body stretch. When's your highest motivation during the day? Think it's late at night or early evening? Nah. First thing in the morning, when your brain is still sleepy, is the highest levels of motivation. So that's why I love exercising first thing. One more, and then take your legs wide. We're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. So hands on the other side, step in. Step forward and circle the arms. Step in, step out and circle the arms. Good, we'll do that again. Step in, step towards the front, circle, step back and step wide. Beautiful, so you'll find your flow. Just let your body take over and step in and step out. Good, and one more time, step in, forward, good, lovely. So this time, what I want you to do, rather than circle, I want you to pull back. Draw the arms nice and high. We're going to do one on each side. So step in, forward, circle, step in, step out, don't circle, pull back. Pull back really high. And then step in, forward, and circle. Good, step in, step across and pull back, lift the arms high. Step in, forward, and circle. That's really good. High knee, press, and pull back, and then climb in. And forward. So these are very gentle, very soothing, Tai Chi moves. Press and pull back. Let's do one more on each side. Step in and forward and roll. Big breath in. Take it across. Pull back and then step in. Come forward. Good. Circle. Step in and push. So bring your feet underneath you. Take it into some Pilates swings again. Just going to let Kathy in, bless her. Morning Kathy, good to see you. Make sure you're mute darling. So take it into Pilates swings, good. Feet underneath hips and let those arms drop down. So the hands brush the floor. One more of a high body stretch all the way down the side of your body. Good. One more, both sides. And then bring your hands down, thumbs to chest, and turn the right knee 
sorry, this knee to that side. <laughs> and bring your foot where? To the floor, to the calf, or some will come all the way to the thigh. Pause and pull your shoulder blades back. Perfect, well done. So a lot of weight through the stabilizing leg. Open the arms. Out to the side, good balance. Again, pull the shoulders back. Now take this hand up above you and then curve, curve over to this side. Good, arm over ear, pause. Lovely, magnificent. Bring the arm up. Open the arms and pull the shoulders back and then release. So we do love to balance. Balance helps to keep us nice and strong through the joints, ankles and knees. Find your level. If you are pressing your foot to your thigh, make sure that connection is strong. Thigh to foot and foot out. And then open the arms. Pull the shoulder blades back. Sometimes there are discrepancies in balances, one side to the other, see how that works. Lift the arm, drop the shoulder, and then turn the palm up and lean over. Do it in stages and feel free to look at the floor to help your balance. It might help you to stabilize. A little bit further and then climb up and open. Great, that looks beautiful. I can see your silhouette and you look fabulous. Bring the leg down, different pose now, stretch. Bring up this knee, take it to the side and hold the foot. Now what I'm looking for is that right angle. So the knee is in line with the hip. Turn and take that leg behind you. This is called flower pose. That's it, well done. So rather than having knee to knee, You've got knee out to the side and open across your chest. Great, so it's a full body stretch through the upper body and the leg. Magnificent. Well, and the foot, let's do that on the other side. Sorry, just let Leslie in. So on the other side, pick up the foot and try and lift the knee in line with the hip. Arm out to the side and reach through. So take the leg round. And again, can you feel that across your chest? Down through the front of your thigh. Oh, that feels good. Open, open, open. Oh, I do like that stretch. Sorry. <laughs> me. Bring your legs down, lift your heel and wrap your hands round your body, giving yourself a hug. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in and exhale. That's the last person I'm going to let in, promise. Lift your heel. Then step your feet in, bend your knees and continue to turn side to side. That's it. So your body is still, your lower body is still, your tummy muscles are pulled in and your shoulders nice and relaxed. You feeling that? Good. Come to Stand still and connect with your feet and rock forward and back. We haven't done this for a couple of weeks. So let's feel ourselves becoming grounded. Rock forward and back, toes to heels. Really feel the floor underneath you. Imagine that you're outside in your favorite place, a beach maybe, or it's the countryside. But imagine that you're really pushing your feet down into some firm base underneath you and then be still and rock left to right. Your brain does not know the difference between what is real and what is your imagination. If you pretend you're in a lovely, lovely place and you feel calm and you're happy, your hormones will respond. You'll start to feel more settled. So let's pretend, let's play that game. A little bit of perception, a little bit of um, awareness of where you are and then pause so feel those strong roots holding you into the ground and bring that earth energy up through your body little soft knees tight tummy shoulder blades back and chest open 
crown to the ceiling and lift your arms yes and stretch right side and the other side do it again <laughs> one side and then the other good press your feet down still earthed through your feet and your upper body is enjoying and loving that stretch that feels good now hold your wrist and make the stretch bigger and the other side make the stretch bigger go longer yes and then with bent knees find your elbows and tip side to side good you see me wince there <laughs> i didn't mean to just came out and finally take it into a circle forward round your spine inhale at the top round your spine inhale at the top good one more feel that smooth movement in your back and then release the arms little bit of love for your shoulders pull your shoulder blades down and engage your upper back then bring your hands up bring your thumbs down to your heart elbows nice and wide feel that connection across your chest turn the fingers down all oh, chest opening bend your knees and run down your body all the way to the floor release the hands breathe in and do that again so lining up with the energy in your body straight the way down to your heart thumbs line up with your heart elbows wide feel the connection through your hands turn the fingers down feel the muscular work in your chest bend your knees and drop to the floor so now you start to do it just a little bit quicker but still incredibly mindfully aware of your body of your muscles stretching your back releasing your hamstrings opening your breath hands to heart for a split second for a moment turn the fingers down and drop to the floor bring the hands to the heart but this time keep the fingers up and bend the knees and then climb up take it into parallel squats i know karina loves a parallel squat this is for you lovely <laughs> So parallel squat, why do we do these? They are a fabulous way to make your bottom, your glutes stronger. Why would you want that? <laughs> Wouldn't we all like bootylicious bottoms? No, it's because it helps to support our skeletal frame, our hips, knees, ankles. So squeeze your bum and climb up, stretch. Squeeze, put a little tightness through those glutes. Yes, five more of those. I can see you doing it. Squeeze. Good. Take the pressure off your lower back. Squeeze. Three more. Two. And one more. Good. So we'll take it down and we'll pulse. Three, two, one then turn the fingers down and drop to the floor bend the knees and climb up thumbs to chest and pulse five this time lift the toes slightly then turn the fingers down and drop to the floor straighten the legs climb up great work everyone bend the knees and pulse for five four three two one turn the fingers down and drop to the floor climb up lovely pulse nice upright chest deep down into the legs draw the fingers down drop to the floor and climb up one last time like this five pulses here feet hip distance apart turn the fingers down and drop to the floor now take your legs wide big breath in hands to heart and pulse five four three two one turn the fingers down and now drop to the floor so a wider stance will pick up more muscles in your thighs and glutes
Good, and that's what we're aiming for. Turn the fingers down and drop to the floor. Climb up. So not only are you strengthening your legs and your glutes, especially your inner thigh, but you're also opening up. Feel the stretch when you come down. Feel it in the back of the legs. Two more like that, because we love these. Pulse, pulse, deeper, lower, stronger, happier. <laughs> Fingers down, drop to the floor. And last one you've got here, pulse, five, four. Keep pressing the knees out, keep the chest high, and then turn and drop. I'd like you to move over to one side, hands on one side. Come into the middle, both knees bent, go over to the other side. Come into the middle, over to one side, middle, over to the other. So I might be too quick, and that's okay, you take your time, go slower. But the principle is bend the knees in the middle, bend one knee at the side. Both knees, one knee. And when you're happy, then you start to make it stronger. Straight legs in the middle, then a bent knee. Oh, straight legs in the middle, and a bent knee. Give me two more, either side, bent, and center, and bend, and then this time we'll stay on one side. So over to the right, bend the right knee, and draw a little bit deeper. Good. See if you can bring your forearms down, bending the knee, and then slowly take your time to lift the back heel, turn the front foot, and bring the knee to the floor. Relax the toes. We'll do it on the other side in a minute. Hands on thigh and push your hips forward. And if you're feeling super strong, take the arm up and lean back. There is that stretch again. Square your hips off. I've turned to face you, but you square your hips to the front. Good. Lovely. Then bring the hand down, both hands to the front of the foot. Turn the front foot slightly out to the diagonal and see where you can go. Some of you will be happy here, hands. Others will want to experiment, bringing the forearms, maybe, towards the floor. Breathe. 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 Then bring your hands underneath you, curl the toe, lift the knee, and very slowly come into the middle. Start that again. One side, bent knees, the other side, bent knees. Good. So I am not feeling this in my lower back. I've got my ear, shoulder, and hip in the same alignment, okay? So I can manage to bring my fingers to the floor, not because I'm hugely flexible, it's because I'm short. <laughs> so now try it with straight legs. So bend, straight, bend, straight. Pull the tummy in, use your core muscles, and then we're going to finish off over that side. Hands down, lift the back heel, turn the toes, turn the front foot, Pause here and drop the hip as low as you can. Then put the knee down. Relax the foot. Bring your hands onto the front of your thigh and push your hip forward and take that hand, palm up, to really get a good stretch. Pull the, stretch the tummy, squeeze the bum. Where can you take this this morning? How deep can you go? Great, bring the hands down front of the foot, take the foot to a very small diagonal, not much, and then investigate, play. Let's see if we can take the knee further back and bring the elbows closer to the floor. All oh, this feels good. My hamstring on my other leg is really talking to me. From here, come into the pose of a child. So step the front foot, 
Toes together, knees wide, hands come forward. Big breath in and slowly release out. So it's the same thing that we did at the beginning. It's mindful breathing. It helps to calm and restore the nervous system. Big breath in and exhale down. Big breath in and release back. What I'd like to do this time is take the knees just a tad wider and notice how that feels through the front of the hips and the pelvis. Breathe out and bring your shoulders over your hands. Four more. Breathe out. Okay, so I'm nice and comfy. I've got lots of padding on my floor, so my knees are okay. Couple more. Breathe out. How far back can you go? Can you? Will you? Take your knees a little bit wider. Can you for the last one? A little bit wider. Good. And then come up. Knees directly underneath your hips. Bring your forearm down. Down. Up. Up. Oh, other side. Forearm down. Down. Up. Up. Mm, coming. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Other side, forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Not too bad, two more. Other side. Good, let's do one more. And then, <laughs> I'm scared to say it, but I'm going to slide my knees back and come all the way down. That's it, and then climb up. Feel the difference? All I did, was take my knees slightly back. So now I'm in the three quarter plank as opposed to all fours. Can you feel how much harder that is? So bring your knees under your hips to make it easier and drive your knees a little bit further away to make it harder. I'm just gonna do one more. This is just your warm up for your legs arms and tummy because now we're going to hold and because you are a pilates professional your body is beautifully aligned ear shoulder hip is it not yes it is brilliant roll to the floor and climb up onto your knees roll to the floor and climb up onto your knees Roll down. Feel good? So I've missed out level one. Level one is just tummy. And I'm reversing the work. Rolling down and lifting up. If you're feeling strong, happy, fit, joyous and lovely this morning, curl the toes, lift the knees, hold. Bring the knees down and rest. Four more like this. Knees, toes, knees and lower three more keep going feel the love in your tummy muscles feel the love in your leg muscles in the upper back push and keep your nose over your thumbs last one take a moment to rest have some water Bring your heels to your bum and move your feet side to side. And take your back hand forward, your front hand to your front foot. If you can, you know I'm always looking for that ankle rather than the toes. Hip on the floor, pause, and then lift the thigh. Pause, breathe, hold, stretch, lengthen. And then the other side. So swap hands. Gracefully bring the other hand forward. You could lie on your side and do this. That's absolutely fine. Take one hand forward to support thigh on the floor and then lift the thigh. Hold. Pause. Good. Stay with it. 
Now perhaps some of you were feeling really stretchy today and you can lift both legs. Draw the knees in, roll the shoulders back. And you need the counter pose. So push yourself up, push back, take the knees a little bit wider this morning than we normally do. In that pose of a child. And then we come to lie down again. Okay, so that was your little respite. Now we're going to do something fun. On your knees, take your front hand out to the side, fingers on the floor, and then the other side, and do it again. Front hand forward, back hand out. Front hand forward, back hand out. And again, forward to the side, I should say. And two more, can you feel the tummy muscles? The six pack, the rectus abdominis, is holding you still, especially if you've got good form. And lower down, if your alignment, ear, shoulder, hip is looking good. Let's try a little variation. Climb up, keep your hands together, and this time take the front leg forward, knee under, back leg, four more. Front leg, back leg, good. Front leg, back leg. I'm still here, I'm still doing it. Forward, forward. One more time and you're done. Forward, good. Take a moment all the way down to the floor, heels to bum. Do you like that? Happy to put it all together? Opposite arm and leg. <gasps> Marvellous. Let's try. Up onto your knees, front arm, back leg, in, other side, out, in, four more, out, in, out, keep your chest pushing forward, out to the side, out to the side, give me two more of those, out, out, one more, good, that is phenomenal work, really good work, now take a breather, have some water, take your time because I'm going to do that all again, all again, start with just your hands, just the hands, front hand, back hand, just the hands, front hand, back hand, that's it, three more, forward, back, forward, can you feel the upper back getting stronger, arms stronger, so now coordinate arm and opposite leg, oh I did meant to do leg first, just leg, <laughs> I peaked, just your leg, so what's happening is your core muscles, you can feel this, are holding you still. Your abdominal and back muscles are holding you in your perfect posture. Your arms are holding you. It's a core workout for your whole body. Now we'll add arm and opposite leg. And it is the last time, I promise. One, breathe. Two, keep your chest down, don't lift your chest. Three, stay with me. I've put it all together in one beautiful, seamless exercise so that your muscles get overloaded and change shape. You're done. How easy was that? Not very, Adele, no. <laughs> Come into the pose of a child. Let your breath recover. Bring your hands up to your thighs and roll your shoulders. Maybe you need both shoulders rolling back. Then we'll take a seat. Bring your feet forward. Take your hands underneath your knees. So you've done some epic work for your arms and shoulders. Superb work there. You've done some great work for your core. 
tummy and back. Let's focus on the deep abdominal, your stabiliser, by lifting one leg. Yes, it's an all-time favourite. We love this. We come back to this over and over again. Hand behind your knee, rolling back, level one. Lifting your leg, level two. That's it. So you're counterweighting the legs with your upper body and then both legs together. Yes. And lower. Four more like that. Both legs. And lower. Keep smiling as you do it. Both legs. Lift. Perfect. Your grand finale. Straighten. And release. Palms up. Oh, oh I love that. Thank you for doing that. Barbara, you look amazing. Feet down. Chest lifts, four more. Remember, please, your levels. I'm not there in person to shout at you <laughs> as much as you miss that, but I can still sense you, okay? So please do not make this harder than it needs to be. If you've got any back pain, then it's not working for you. It's too hard a level. I just feel muscle work abdominal muscle work. I can feel my legs as well. So give me two more. Your choice of level. Select carefully. <laughs> and one last one. Excellent. You're ready to roll down onto your back. Have some water before you do. Bring your knees into your chest. And massage your back. Round one way and around the other. So right at the beginning of the session we talked about bringing our feet towards the floor into the ground into the earth. So imagine that you're doing that again. Anchor your feet. Pull your tummy in and find neutral in your lower back. Hands by your side, palms up. And just get an idea of your pelvis. So imagine that there's another root coming down from your tailbone that connects comfortably to the floor. You have a natural curve and your abdominals are switched on to help support that curve. You're not arched, you're not flat, you're natural. Lift the front knee, tap and lift. The mechanism moves from the hip engages the deep abdominal but this muscle won't work unless you fire it off think about what you're doing fire off the deep abdominal it's really hard to sense it on a level one level two the back comes down momentarily the second leg lifts and the back releases i feel it now <laughs> so press the deep abdominal down. I have a very naughty tendency to lift my chin. So if you've got a towel, bring that underneath your head. Or if you're makeshift like me, you can use your mat. And do your best to release your neck, your jaw, your shoulders, and your arms. This is where you go floppy. Do your best to relax your feet, your knees, and your thighs. And instead, concentrate all the effort on your deep abdominal. Five more. Good. It takes a lot of thought, a lot of focus. Beautiful. Couple more. That's it. One last one. And now your next level is to try both legs together very, very slowly. Now your pelvis, some people's pelvis will tip quite quickly. Others people, their pelvis is quite stable and it won't. If you've done a lot of dance, ballet, yoga, your pelvis is more likely to kind of be unstable. We call it unstable. Other people would call it open. 
I'm interested in muscle. So pull the muscle in to help stabilize the movement. One last one. Good. Hands on knees, massage, relax, recover. I'm going to slide one knee into my chest and point the toes on the other leg to stretch and then swap. So this is opening up that tight hip flexor, front of thigh, opening up, stretching the toes. I'm not going to the ceiling this week, I'm just stretching away. Put some energy into stretching your feet. If you run, if you walk, if you spend a lot of time in shoes, your feet constantly flexed. So let's put some energy into stretching them in the other direction. Work on your feet. Good. Lovely. We need our feet. Hold our whole posture. Everything connects through your feet. So really send them some love, attention and stretch. Now bring your hands underneath your head. Still focusing on your feet and your legs and your hips. Also keeping your lower back neutral. Also keeping your tummy muscles tight. The thinking person's exercise. You can't switch off in Pilates. You need to switch on. Mindfully aware of your body. Thank you. Good. You ready? Raise the head. Raise the head. Keep it going. Look down your leg, admire your alignment. The second and third toe, it lines up with the center of your knee. Oh, excellent. And then the center of the knee lines up with the front of the hip. How incredible, let's keep doing that. Let's keep noticing how we're holding ourselves, own it. Know your body. <laughs> I'm going to continue and take it into the next level by turning side to side. So as one leg stretches, you bring your shoulder across to your knee. And that is the third level. It is also the third muscle. So we've done deep abdominal with toe taps. Lifting your head works your rectus abdominis, as does those devilish planks. And then this exercise works the internal and external obliques, your waist, joy. Keep bringing it back. Bring it back to the basics of the move, the stretch of the foot, the lengthening of the leg, the opening of your hip. Enjoy the way that your body flows and moves. And the real pleasure is when you bring the breath into the move. Breathing is one of the central Pilates principles as is control. And the one that I really enjoy, the principle that I really focus on is flow. Gently easing you from one exercise gracefully into another. Let's do five more as we continue to move gracefully. <laughs> side to side. Four more, great, three more, powerful, two more, and one last one. Oh, that feels good. So bring your hands onto your knees 
and gently soothe your back, both directions, lovely. Feet to the floor, stretch your legs away, hold on to your right wrist and open up. And the other side, open up. Bringing your hands down the side, bend your knees, remove anything from underneath your head, whether it's your mat or your towel. And then let's work on the base of your pelvic basin, your pelvic muscles, your deep, deep pelvic floor. So I just want you to push the pubic bone up and then push it away. And notice how that takes your back into extremes, a flat back, an arched back. Okay, so you have that range of movement, R-O-M, range of movement. And you want to engage the pelvic floor as you do this. Engage, release, engage. So that you're firing off the nervous system, you're making that neural pathway from brain through the nervous system to the pelvic floor. You're just making it clear. There's no side tracks. It's just a very clear, obvious connection for your brain. Now roll up into a shoulder bridge. Hold at the top, work your glutes, work your bum, work your bum. Pause at the top and then slowly lower down. Pelvic tilt. Fire off the pelvic floor, climb up, fire off bigger muscles now, glutes, hamstrings possibly, stretch the thighs and roll. There is a secret to the perfect stance, the perfect pose, the perfect shoulder bridge. And it will be where your ankle is directly underneath your knee. You'll feel it you'll feel that your knees are comfortable. They're not pinching. If you feel good, stay at the top. Give your bottom a really good squeeze and lift your front knee. You might like to go, da -da! <laughs> straighten the leg and then bring that leg down and up. Four more. So this is a big step up. This is a big level up. If you're not comfortable, it's okay. Just go back into the shoulder bridge. Bring the foot down. Let's do the other side before we move on. So I've still got my bum in the air. Lift the knee. Straighten the leg. Point the toes to the ceiling. Drop and lift. Four more. Can you feel this in your bum? What interests me, might not you, but we're going to try, is the way that the glutes fire off, lower down onto the floor. So what do I mean by that? Well, firing off is when the muscles engage. And sometimes you'll notice that one muscle fires off much easier than another. So here, when I lift my front knee, I can feel my other glute firing off the other side of my bum, working really hard. And I want to remember how that feels. So bend the knee and notice if it's equal and opposite on the other side. Do you feel as much energy in both glutes or is there a discrepancy? Most of us have a stronger side. I'm being diplomatic here. <laughs> Roll down. So I want you to notice, I'd like to do that one more time. And I'd love you to figure out which is your stronger side. Which glute, which side of your body fires off more? I know my side. It's this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an extra one on my weaker side and then the other side take your time to get into the exercise and this is dead easy I don't feel anything on this side my glutes rock hard on that side good so come down in your own time 
Bring your knees into your chest, your hands under your knees, and this is a great bum stretch. Knees to chest, nose towards your knees. Perfect. Bring your feet up, bring your hands between your thighs, bend and lengthen, bend and lengthen. If you're working with that quite easily, find your calf, and if you're working with that quite easily, find the instep of your foot. Now the really supple members of our community will be able to bring their bum on the floor. Mine is slightly lifted. <laughs> if you can get your bum down on the floor, know that you are exceptional, you're brilliant. Keep your bum down. So the way that we ease into the stretch is one leg and then the other, taking the legs into a V shape, a wide shape. And finally, both legs together, push the heels away, and I can hear, sense, feel the waves of excitement. As the inner thigh stretches, the hamstrings open, the glutes release, and everything is good in the world. <laughs> Stay with me. Push the heels up. Push it up. Feel the difference. Push the heels up. Draw the toes down. Feel the difference. Well done. Bring the feet in. Front leg stays in the air. Fingers into calves. Find those meaty calf muscles. We love a good turned out calf. Bring your thumbs down your shin. Go into the knee area. Finding tight spots. Find and release. Oh, got another one. Got a juicy one there. You're looking for pain pockets. You're not ignoring them. You're squeezing into them to release them. I love this muscle. Gastrocnemius and soleus. Gastrocnemius belly shaped. Love it. Slide the other leg away. Mine now goes further into the hamstring and take the opposite hand on the leg and now it goes into the side of the bum. Piriformis, IT band, hip. It depends on your exercise, everything you do normally. Might go into your back, might go into your chest. And then let's play that game on the other side. So the other leg comes up, all a bit tighter on this side. What are you feeling? Drag, push your fingers into your calves. Draw your thumbs down the line of your shin. Go around your knee. You are looking for, I know, sounds weird, but you are looking for pockets of pain. I've just found one. Get in there, release it. Good, then slide the other leg away and it immediately shifts into my very tight hamstrings that have got tighter during lockdown there's no doubt about that just not as active as i would be so take the front hand to the back leg and come across your body where does that shift where does the stretch go for you is it equal and opposite mm. Maybe take it a little deeper when you're ready. Ooh. And then both knees into chest, hands underneath your knees. Don't settle with one rock. Settle with 10, 15, 20. We've got lovely supported floor. It's the one thing that carpet or mats will do really well. We can swing, rock to our heart's delight. Finish off with a shin parallel to the floor and a chest up. Do it again. Roll back. Lift and you use your brakes by lifting your chest. Tuck your tailbone under. Climb up. One more. Thank you so much for joining me. Stupendous lovely, fantastic, really good work. Namaste from my, 
Sol Deus.